today's video is going to be my April Bella Box. Bella Box were actually lovely enough to send this out to me early so I could show it to you guys. So that means by the time that you watch this video, you will actually still have time to order the Bella Box if you did like the April one. I will say though that because they sent it early, they didn't give me the little information card to say how much the full prices are. So while I don't have that to read from, I'll write it on the screen here to let you guys know how much the full price items are as per usual. But this, like I said, is my April Bella Box. So I'll get right into unboxing it because you guys pretty much see one of these every month except for last month I did miss that one but like usual it has the Tiffany blue box and this is the inside which I got a nice little handwritten card I'll start pulling things out randomly this first product is the thank you antibacterial lemon and lime hand sanitizer I saw a picture of this on the Bella box website and I actually thought it was shampoo when I first saw it but it is a hand sanitizer I haven't smelt it yet oh it smells really nice it actually kind of smells like dishwashing liquid which kind of sounds a bit gross to refer to but it does smell really nice and fresh so it's a hand sanitizer that kills 99.9% .9 of germs again this is the kind of product that I would just chuck into my bag to have with me everywhere I go so that if I touch anything gross I can keep myself nice and clean so definitely kind of a decent sized product too as you can see it's a fairly decent size you get 50 mils in this which is quite big so definitely a lot of use out of this and it looks quite liquidy as well it's not very gelish which that's kind of what I like because they dry a lot faster on your hands so you're not walking around with kind of sticky hand sanitizer hands so that's the first product there I do quite like the smell so I will pop that into my bag the next product here is a full-size product and I know this because I know a lot of people use this and I see it at Priceline all the time it's the Nivea lip butter in vanilla and macadamia typically I'm not a massive fan of these kind of little pot formula kind of things where you have to dig your finger into them but that being said I have heard amazing oh my god I just smelt it oh it smells really good but I have heard really 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 good things about this so I was very very happy to see this and again this is full size so that's really really cool but this one was in the vanilla and macadamia scent I believe you can get other scents which also smell really good but just smelling this one here is amazing so again this is probably something that I would just chuck into my handbag to have with me everywhere I go so that seems like it's a common theme so far next product is this yes to carrots see me shine lip gloss and this is in the color playful nude so essentially it's a lip gloss that's in a squeezy tube again I'm not the biggest fan of squeezy tube lip glosses they remind me of the ones that you get as a kid but that being said this color is really really pretty it's definitely very wearable so I do like this it says that it's 95% organic and it's also paraben free and they do no animal testing so definitely a very kind of healthy vegan kind of brand I quite like these because they're kind of a nice alternative to just normal cosmetics so kind of glad that I did get this I'll open it up to see what it comes out like Ooh, it kind of comes out like a little worm and it smells like mint it smells really really nice it does have kind of a sticky feel to it so I don't know how that will wear on the lips but it does smell really really nice like mint nice and fresh so I do like this the next product is this face formulated skincare for all precious things and that's all it says on the jar so I'm guessing it's a face cream yes so it's a face cream in here which again it doesn't say on the jar at all what it is I mean face might not be the brand it might be the product but anyways it is a cream kind of just smells like a regular kind of face cream so nothing too special about it you get a massive amount in it though I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite a big jar there's 25 mils in here too so I will see what it's like it's kind of a more lightweight kind of one it doesn't really sit on the skin it kind of soaks in really nicely but that being said I'm super hot in this room so the last thing I want to do is put moisturizer on but anyways but yeah as it stands I don't really know what it is all I know is it's a cream and it smells quite nice so I don't know. The next product is kind of in a sample sachet. So it comes like this. It's those original source body washes that you see at Coles. So they look like those. And I got the one that is mint and tea tree, which my brother actually uses. It's in the shower right now. So it's kind of funny. I have tried the mint one of his secretly. He doesn't know. But I have tried that one and it was my favorite. He has had the vanilla and raspberry one and I didn't like it. It felt a bit sickly on my skin. So I'm glad I got this one as a sachet. From what I can remember, it's just really, really nice and fresh and hydrating. As as you can see it's just a little sachet like that you probably only get one use out of it so a single use product but I will use it because it smells good and then the last product that is in here is in sachets as well I say this in every video you guys know what I feel about like. sachets they're not my favorite but that being said you get quite a fair amount in this sachet so it's the alchemy avocado and calendula conditioner 
and then the rosemary shampoo so I have actually tried this brand before I can't remember if I tried it in a Priceline bag or something but I have tried it wasn't really my favorite brand I'll be honest I didn't really like the smell it kind of smelt like an old person's shampoo so it'll be interesting to see how these two scents go because they are two different ones but yeah when I tried it I didn't really think it was that great and from what I understand they're pretty expensive so I mean I guess it's a good thing that you do get an expensive thing in this box it's just I have tried this before and I'm not a big fan but because it's in here I will use it and like I said I'll probably get about two uses out of it because the sachet is really really thickly packed so at least you get some decent usage out of this but aside from that that was absolutely everything in this month's box now because mine was sent out early to me there was a bonus item that I did miss out on but you guys will be getting so you get three products to choose from I believe there's a sleek lip gloss there's a lip lacquer lip tube and there's another other product that you can choose but you get to choose from those three to decide what goes into your box so because I got mine early, I got to miss out on that. But that being said, I already have the lip lacquer lip tube. So that's kind of okay because that's what I would have picked. But anyways, that's everything that I got in my box. So it was kind of a big range of products. For my March one, I found I had a lot of skincare. Whereas this, it's a little bit of everything. Where I've gotten a makeup product, a skincare product, a lip care product and even a shampoo and a body wash so it was a really all around kind of box where you got everything to try so I was pretty happy with this month it's all stuff that I will definitely try for this month I was really really happy with like the sample sizes and everything and just the range of products that you get but yeah anyways that was my entire box for the munch of munch month of April if you did want to try out the Bella box they have changed their pricing I will mention that now they have changed their pricing where it's no longer free shipping you have to pay $2.95 on top of the fee per month. Let me know how you feel about that, how you feel about having to pay shipping now, but yes, they have changed it, so it's $15 plus $2.95 shipping. But yeah, if you did want to try it, I'll have a link down below for you guys to try it if you are interested. I think this has probably been an exact year that I've been subscribed to Bella Box, which is really cool. I didn't think I would last this long, so pretty sure this is my one year anniversary with Bella Box. Let me know what you guys got in your box, if you did enjoy what you got in yours and kind of exactly what samples you got, whether it was a full-size product or if it it was a nice little squeezy tube. I love hearing what you guys get in your boxes because they are all different. So yeah, once you get your box, let me know what you got in yours. And that's pretty much it for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.